It's working! We literally oh, spent like an hour of... Okay, I'll go super quiet then. We literally spent like the last hour just trying to get this to work and we never thought it would. Yes! Okay. Them graphics. Saving content. Yeah, boy. Hmm, that's a good question. Ah, uh, no, no. I went to the credits. Edgy. How I the exit. Project director Casey Hudson. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to. Graphics. Yes. Yeah, I want windowed. Why? Yeah. Alright. Now I'll try that. And if you oh, the recording just started. <laughs> okay. Alright, back up. What? It should be all good now. Oh. Okay. It's the plane. Okay. Here you go. Hey guys, welcome to Mass Effect. It's finally welcome working. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Yay! Classified information requested. I'm connecting to the database, man. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Huh. Join Shepard, our new ID. Ooh. John Shepard, I'm sorry, I said join. So you can either just be John Shepard or create a character. What do you think I should do? Do whatever you want. I need your recommendation, Ben. No, I don't care. I'm gonna create a new person. I'm gonna be female Shepard. Cause females are cool. I know, right? Also, Shepard is such a dopey-looking doofus. I'm gonna create a new guy, okay? I can't stand normal Shepard. Please Custom log in mail. to access your profile. Name him. <laughs> <laughs> Name him Fidget Spinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ben. Fidge. 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 <laughs> Fidge. Fidge Spinner. Fidge Shepherd. Fidge Shepherd. <laughs> Wait, did I screw it up? Warning. I wanted to make an option detected. Yeah, I corrupted that. Please reconstruct profile. All Confirm right. Confirm pre-service history. Spacer colonist Earthburn. Confirm psychological profile. Oh, that sounds nice. I want to be a war here. Military specialization. Okay, soldier, engineer. Confirm I'll be a soldier. Facial identification. Let's change appearance. Who looks like a fidget spinner? <laughs> Let's make him black. make it thick. 
Let's make him fat. <laughs> Cheekbones. Ear size. <laughs> he looks like a monkey. <laughs> What's the most terrifying? Yeah. <laughs> I love this way too much. Way too much fun. He looks like a living fidget spare. What's the most fidget spinner like haircut? That's a fidget sphere right there. Let's make it anime hair. Yeah! <laughs> Profile reconstruction complete. Yeah, Fid Shepherd, bruh. Definitely, this is my info. war hero. Subtitle is Yas. Oh, save Yas. Let's make it cash. Boom. Yeah, I'm happy with these. I'm happy with all of this. <laughs> Fidge Spinner. <laughs> the legend. The living legend. Oh, I'm so excited to play this game. This is going to be so much fun. Well, what about Shepard? He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. <laughs> He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. I'm a hero. In the year 2148. I'm gonna just read this on my own. What do they call it? Oh, okay, of course. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Joker, I gotta kill that guy. Sequence. I'm Commander Shepard. I'm Commander Fidge Shepard. We are connected. 
calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. <laughs> Just every time I see that face. <laughs> Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Thrusters? Check. Navigation? Check. I apologize for this pause. Systems online. Drift. Okay. Just under 1500k. 1500 is good. If Hi, me, alien man. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Sorry for that brief You remember to zip thing. up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target I size can't of a find pinhead, my mouse. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. It won't let me pause, guys. Sorry. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this Maybe project. Maybe space they have a if right I try to, to send escape. someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Hmm. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more <laughs> going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> I can't take him seriously! Yeah, it always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Okay. Here we go. Alrighty then. Now I'm good. First of all, let's save this. Vidge Shepard. My man. Okay, let me make sure that there's more than one save. Okay, good. Oh, whoops. No, oh, not what I wanted. I'm sorry. Delete save. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Ben will be happy to hear about that. Yeah, I, I think I figured that out. Boink, boink, boink. This is going to be so much fun. I just saw him. He marked by like he was on a mission. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. This is going to be so much fun. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. Are you heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. <laughs> I love it so sir, much! Maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Goodbye. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. All right. Dup dup da. Dup 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 da. Yo. Doctor. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need Lance. to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had, and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself I in the I can't place. take him seriously. Nobody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the That's brass right, what I, I can, can do. That's right, I can do you. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Okay. Investigate. What can you tell me about Nihilus? 
Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still more like too fidget, contact. am I right? As for Nathan, up top, guys. Up top. No? Nope. Okay. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. So excited. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Cool, cool. Uh, the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power. <laughs> that face! Basically, it looks like a bulldog. They're a shadow organization <laughs> with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races. Like That's the racist. Hey. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, I right? I haven't seen Spectre off an entire yet. enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? <laughs> That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested What's in What's wild is what we're about to do no in the bedroom. Uh, okay. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that well, point, they all get out security hand, though. services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. Okay, now Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. That sounds the nice. parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Ah, okay, goodbye. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, ladies. I mean, man and lady. Is it in here? Yeah, okay, there's a mini-map. Good. Hi. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof Maybe. that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, all these are good answers. Why are you Do asking? you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. I have a feeling you're going to be the bad guy. Ready for this. I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. Was this it, mission is far more than a me? simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. Okay, that makes sense. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space.
definitely one of these two, but I'm gonna stay positive. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. I'm curious. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. I don't want to seem like a whiny Humanity brat. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. I'm Even fine will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Now I'll investigate. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I notice I twist my mustache whenever I'm thinking and being curious. Why is curious. this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminals Come in, in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. I'll be forced to end this episode the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean... Oh, I already Earth. said this, didn't I? Yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Yeah, I've already what said What if this. it's a weapons archive? We can't let yeah, it fall okay. into the wrong hands. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Oh, great. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Well, there is a little Bring it up problem. on screen. Wanna know how I got these scars? Well, that's not good. Get down! Ashley. By the way, I should reiterate that I don't know too much about this game. I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need- Okay, they need help. And they're dying. Yeah, no, that isn't good. Oh, crap. Well, that doesn't look good. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. Puts on sunglasses. Small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. 
It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. All right. It's a giant hand. Doing this a lot so far. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. All right. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! And so the legend we are begins of Pitch Shepard. Saving content. Good, that's where I was going. And just to make sure... Squad fam. Okay, just to make sure, I'm gonna save again. Save. Okay. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm definitely gonna keep playing this, this is great. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in part two. Bye.